welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine if you are new here welcome and if you're a turn subscribe as always thank you guys so much for being here so today is thursday it's nine o'clock in the morning and we are already out and about because we have a lot to do today took off today because kai has a dentist appointment so with him having a dentist appointment i just decided to just get some stuff done that i need to get done so today is jam paper. I'm gonna read y'all the to-do list for today. Starting out, I got up early this morning. I went ahead and I waxed my underarms. And then I had a interview at 8.45. That's already done. 10 o'clock, I have a nail appointment. I need to do a bank run. I need to go by the insurance place for my car. I need to fax off some paperwork. Kai dentist appointment is at one o'clock. 3.30 I have a wax and then I need to record a cash stuff for today. So like I said, today is jam packed. I'm getting everything done today. Y'all hear my baby in the back. So we're leaving the house now because I need to take him to my grandmama because my brother is going to watch him while I get my nails done and then I'll pick him back up and finish out our day. It's like he getting louder and louder. So I'm also... I'm gonna go ahead and get him some breakfast because I know they ain't got nothing at the house for my baby to eat. So I'm gonna get him some breakfast and then I will be back with y'all when we get to the house. Y'all know how I told y'all I was gonna see y'all at the nail shop. I didn't even record because the nail shop pushed me so far back behind schedule. So my point was at 10. I'm guessing the person that was before me was supposed to get a fill in, but she ended up getting a full set. So it pushed my appointment back. And then, so I was scheduled for a full set at 10 o'clock, and then my toes at 10.45. She didn't get done with my nails till about 11, 10.50 something, 11 o'clock. The girl didn't get done with my toes till about 12 something. Um, then I had to get my eyebrows away. I didn't get out the nail shop to like 12, 20. Cap was at one. I had to leave from Starville to come to West Point and then go to Columbus. We weren't gonna make it. So I pushed his appointment. First I pushed it back to 1.30, then two o'clock. Because I still had other errands to run. Like I had to go by the insurance place. I needed to go to the bank. Um, I needed to go get my brother something to eat because he was watching the baby. So that was my payment to him. Just buy him something to eat. I pushed it back. I pushed it to pump back an hour. I was still five minutes late from that, but it was cool. You know, they give you like a little 10 minutes grace period. But the appointment itself was about five minutes. And then I went on to my wife's appointment. My wax appointment was at 3.30. We got the little before three. She just went on and got me in. Hey y'all. It's been a couple of days now. All right, so I think the last time I talked to y'all was like Thursday, it's Sunday. Today, Sunday reset, we're cleaning, we're washing clothes. So my room is messy. My bed is messy. Um, and right now I'm finna start packing. Because I'm going out of town Friday morning. And then I'm working late all this week. So from Monday to Thursday, I'm working late. So I'm going in early. I'm getting up late. And then I'm leaving like Friday morning around 4 o'clock in the morning. And the last thing I want to do is get off late Thursday night. And then try to rush, pack, and then forget something. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack and just have my bags together. I know I ain't forgotten that everything is where it's supposed to be. So, um, I already got my clothes out. I got Kyle's clothes out. We're going to uh, Indianapolis. And the thing about that, last week when I checked the weather, it was nice for like 80, 70 degrees. I just checked it. Y'all, it's saying it's gonna be like in the 40s. The 50. Now I gotta bring out my winter clothes. I was trying to do that. I was trying to be cute women like sundresses and stuff. Ugh, what is going on? So I already got my clothes out. I got cot clothes out. And of course, you know, when you pack it for a kid, you gotta pack extra stuff because babies can literally they can they can mess up some clothes without even trying. 
care what I'm packing, so come on and pack with me. So starting out, I think down there I'm going to wear some Uggs and then one of my outfits, I'm going to wear these. Never worn them before, so we're gonna pack these to go. And then my first outfit, so coming since it's going to be around 40 degrees coming back. So this is going to be my, it's like a sweatsuit piece. So this is going to be my outfit coming back home. Literally a sweatsuit and I think I'm going to wear my Uggs with that. So this is going to go at the bottom because this is what I'm going to wear Sunday coming back home. Excuse the baby in the back. Saturday. I have two different options, outfit options, so this is just a black shirt with black leggings. And then if I go out that night, I have jeans with a see-through mesh top. I'm going to wear like this oversized jacket with it. So my base, my top is the same. But I'm just switching out my bases. So this is going to be for Saturday. That way I'm not bringing too many clothes but i still have options so we're gonna do this long trench coat and these are what and I'm, those tennis shoes that i just showed y'all this is what's going to go with this outfit okay so this saturday that's gonna be go on top and then on the way down there i'm going to wear this outfit because it's supposed to be rain i'm gonna get so i'm gonna wear this with these leggings and then i'm gonna wear my uggs so I'm not bringing too many shoes and too many clothes, but I still have options. I'm still gonna be cute, but you know, bounced up. So this is what I'm going to wear down there. So of course this is gonna go on top. The weather is kind of confusing because, like I said, early in the week I checked it's gonna be like in the 80s. It says it's gonna be in the 80s. Now it's saying the 40s. So if the weather decided they want to switch up. So I am going to bring a sundress if the weather switches up. And then I have my Gucci um, flip-flops that I'm just going to put on with these. So I got that just, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. So of course you need your underclothes. So I have some underwears and I got some bras. Those are going to go. And then something to sleep in and walk around the Airbnb. So I just have like some long pajamas. And then I'm bringing a tank top and some more little lounge pants just to walk around in. So that that's my stuff. Now let's get into the babies. These are the Gucci slides that I'm going to bring if the weather permits. Um, of course, some socks. This is my toiletry bag, the same bag that I had when we went camping. Um, it has the same stuff in there. Uh, picks, body wash, mouth wash um face wash toothbrush tie to go tie to go wipes i got a kid they mess up soap that's a toothpaste so this is all i have in here and i think i needed to like i didn't need to like get some more stuff so i did get some more native body wash this is the baby's um, lotion, baby magic, creamy whipped butter, and I want to say it's like the oatmeal, vanilla and oat. It smells so good. Sometimes I be putting it on myself. So this is the baby stuff. And then this is what I put on my face. This stuff is so good. I use that. And then... <laughs> All right, and then I was running low on my face wash, so they didn't have the travel clean and clear, so I just got this. I'm going to bring that too to re-up on this, but this is the um, the Mario Skin Care Facial Spray Rose Water. I need to get some more of this, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is really the only two things that I use on my face. I wash it, and I use these two items. That's it. So, that's what I'm bringing for myself. Now, let's get into the bag. Back to me. So, I have like another little cosmetic bag. And it has emergency kit, band-aids. Y'all, I got a boy. He gets into stuff. Um, 
lotions this is actually the lotion that's in these instead of bringing this full bottle i just got two of these they're from walmart i think it was like 97 cent put the lotion in there so i won't have to bring a full bottle we have some deodorant this is the baby's body wash instead of bringing his full big bottle body wash this is his body wash i didn't need to get some more toothpaste so i got that and then flushable wipes if you know you know flushable wipes if you know you know i don't go no old out because i use them so that's now that's all my stuff now like I said, I'm dealing with a kid, so he has more stuff. So I got him, this is the outfit. It's a two piece set and I just got him a little coat to go over it because it's supposed to be cold. So this is the outfit. This is another outfit. And this is the outfit, Some jeans, shirt, vest, this is the outfit, and then this is the outfit. Then of course, packing him about three hats. And then I'm just packing like some random shirts, these some long sleeves, some short sleeves, and then stuff to walk around the Airbnb in. So I packed him two sweats, like three just regular t-shirts, and I may, that should be enough. The only thing left that I have to get up for him is I need to get him some socks, his pull-ups, and then, of course, before we leave, I'm going to bring his, like, little training, potty training little thing for the toilet. I have a thing of wipes to bring. He's, I don't know if it's the, if he's sick or if it's his allergies acting up because it just started, but I wish I would have had this when I first had him. It's like an electric, electric nose sucker. When I first got him, I had like the little Frida baby one when I actually had to suck it myself. Y'all, this would have saved me so much breath, but I got this. And I think that's it. So, I'm going to pack everything up and I'm going to come back with y'all and let y'all know. Oh, I got, I got to show y'all his shoes. So, these are the shoes I'm packing him for the trip. Can I see that? including his crop just so he can have some comfortable shoes but those are the that's everything Okay, it's four o'clock. I cleaned and I packed. But okay, so I honestly underestimated packing for me and a baby. The weekend or bad, it wasn't gonna do it for both of us. Mm -mm. So, <laughs> so I actually got one of my small suitcases, and then I still did the weekender bag. But what I put in the weekender was our shoes and like all of our torches all of his hats his shoes because i think i'm bringing like three different shoes for him and i want to say two shoes for me but including the shoes that i'm wearing that's three um and then on top of that bag i have the clothes that we're going to wear down there so like i said we're leaving like four in the morning so once i get out thursday night I'm going to, of course, I have to, like, record my cash stuffing video Thursday night. And then I normally stay up late and edit those out. So, they will Friday sometime. So, I got all our clothes packed. The clothes that we're going to wear down there, 
they right there on top. I'm telling you guys, the way that I thought about it in my head, when I get off Thursday, the only thing that I have to do is one, edit, shower, get my baths, the baby get his bath, and then get a little shut out before it's time to get up. And honestly, I might not even go to sleep. I probably just stay up until it's time to get up and leave and then sleep on the way down there. Because I think it's like an eight-hour drive. I can just sleep on the, the ride down there. I'm not trying to worry about doing nothing. Make sure I got everything done today. I cleaned up today. So Thursday, the only thing I have to do is like straighten up. Because you know, you don't be wanting to leave go out of town and then you think about okay i gotta clean up and i come back uh -uh. i did all that today hopefully the baby don't mess up too bad but i did everything today seriously and i was not playing days is going to my sister i got the dog sitter i mean mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> i didn't try to do nothing so that's that and i need to i didn't i haven't cooked so i need to find me something to eat um, Kai has actually gone to see my grandmama with my mom. Um, we actually saw my grandmama today and then he's going back because he wants to get out the house. Um, yeah, hey so that's pretty much it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're always notified each and every single time I upload a video, okay? Like I said, whether you like my cash stuff and whether you like my vlogs, I got something for y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.